Good morning and welcome back to Classroom Setup Day 4. So today is our first official contracted day back, so I'm getting paid now, which is amazing. I'm so happy. Um, over the weekend, I did a little bit of laminating and cutting. Actually, no laminating, just a lot of cutting. So I have a couple things left to still do, so I think we're going to just finish that cutting really quickly. And then I think the main goal of today is I want to put up my felt right tiles. I have the adhesive tabs now and I also want to organize things because everything's just like thrown on the tables so I want to get a general sense of where I want most things and then I can like do the really big organizing afterwards so that's the main goal and then I really want to try to get up a lot of my decor because most of it is already done from last year so I think that is a good goal to have I just want to be really really close to being done because we have a back to school night on Wednesday. So that is going to be the goal today is finish that cutting and organize and then get up some decor. Hopefully that'll be good. Also, my print shop order that I just recently did is not coming to the school. I might have to go pick it up. So I might try to do that during lunch. I'm not positive, but it says it's completed, but we have a system that like brings things to each school in the district, but that system isn't running right now. So I think I'm going to try and go maybe pick it up myself just so I can speed things along a little bit. So that's the goal. That's the plan for today. So let's get started. Well, one more thing that I forgot about is I want to do all of my Cricut projects that I've been like racking up. I've just been doing them all on my computer, but I haven't actually like gotten them done. So Cricuting things is another goal today. <music> because I have been cutting for, I don't know, it's 9.30 right now. I don't know what time I started, but it has been a long morning of cutting and laminating, and I'm going to stir crazy, but we are getting kind of close. Everything's laminated. Just recutting it. Let me know in the comments if you are the person that laminates then cuts or cuts laminates cuts because I'm convinced that this lasts longer and if it doesn't and if you have proof for it then let me know and let me know if I'm just wasting a bunch of time so yeah if I am wasting time then oh well but <laughs> I think it just holds up better if you cut laminate cut but yeah after I finish this huge pile of cutting, at least it's on a straight line, so it's not too bad, but I'm going to start organizing all of the bins and just put things in places of where I want them to go. And then it'll probably be lunchtime. I don't know. I just want to be really productive today. I want to leave today feeling really good because we don't really have any teacher prep time tomorrow. So like this is the last, probably the last full day of like teacher work time contract hours. We don't have to work on Friday, but I'm probably going to come in anyway. And then this weekend, I'm <clears throat> going camping to a place called Trillium Lake and it's by Mount Hood with some friends and bringing Charlie. We're going to have a grand old time. It'll kind of be like the last hurrah before we go back to work officially. So that should be super fun, but I want to leave at least Friday with like everything done and just feeling really good about my classroom. So that's the goal. I'm hoping 
we can at least accomplish that as I feel like I'm always so stressed in the beginning of the year and I don't have everything organized. Oops, oh no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. That was the first mistake I had, so we're good. Oh, I think we're good. So basically, I think I'm more prepared than I ever have been going into a school year, which is really good. Like I have a general sense of what I'm teaching. I have a general sense of just everything that I need to like know basically so I'm hoping this school year I can just be more on top of my game not that I have been on top of my game but I don't know I just feel like it's the first year where I haven't moved schools either so like I feel like I got my footing if that makes sense so we're going to finish all this cutting and then see what time it is and hopefully get some organizing done. but I just wanted to show you everything that we have gotten done since we last checked in. It's not a ton, but it's a good amount, but I think I already showed you the numbers. Those are actually my old calendar numbers, but I decided just because they were bigger. My other numbers that I already have cut and laminated are a little bit smaller, but I liked these because they're a little bigger and that's where they'll put all of their backpacks and coats and everything. So I thought that was fun. We obviously saw the bulletin boards and the books we've read. I can't do this thing. Oh my gosh. There we go. Books we've read, reading, math. So that's good. We also, I think we're going to keep my turn in bin and my crayon and pencil sharpener over here. And then we also... I'm really happy with how this turned out. It looks really good. And then, oh yeah, I'm really excited about this board. I wasn't really sure what to do with it, but those are our school-wide expectations. Oh yeah, we also have the lovely stem bins and other toy organizing. And I think we're just going to put some books on display up there. Over here, I think we're going to do my sticker store. Not positive, but that's the goal for that. And then... What else do we have? I'm just kind of organizing everything over here, just putting my stuff that I didn't really need at the moment. This is the calm down space at the moment. Not really sure what's going on there, but I also did that bulletin board because it was white and I needed some color over there. So that is our current state 
But yeah, I have all my teacher area still a mess and that's totally okay right now. I got out my Cricut because there's a few things that I need to Cricut. I have all of the projects done on my computer, but I need to actually get them done. So it is 1.11 right now, so we're gonna stop to eat lunch. And after we eat lunch, I think it'll be time to Cricut a lot of things. And yeah, I'm not really sure. We have a staff barbecue tonight at one of our staff members' houses. It's kind of like a welcome back to school, so that should be fun. That's at 4.30, I believe. So I'm not going to drive home and then come back. Technically, our contract hours end at, I think it's 3.30. So I'm not going to drive home and then come back. I'm just going to stay here until like 4-ish and then head over to the staff barbecue. So that is really all that I have for you right now. I'm actually really happy with all the progress that we've made. So we're going to eat lunch and then check back in later. <music> but I want to take this time to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Pear Eyewear. Obviously, as a teacher, I'm on my computer a lot, whether it's answering emails, planning lessons, creating resources. So I was looking for a good pair of quality blue light glasses so my eyes don't get too strained because I have a lot of screen time. That's why I love Pear Eyewear because they have so many different types of glasses available for such a low, affordable price. They have tons of different styles to choose from, and you can even add different top frames depending on what style you're feeling that day. I love all of the top frames that I picked, especially this pink one, and look at these cute little ruler ones for teaching. <laughs> I'm obsessed. So they offer prescription lenses, sunglasses, blue light glasses. I had so many frames on, but I love these ruler ones. They're so cute. It's super easy to order on their website, and they even have a virtual try-on option, which was super helpful. And I also love the convenience of just doing it online and not having to go into the store. <laughs> and Pear is also offering a discount for you guys. So click the link in my description for 15% off your first pair. Once again, thank you so much to Pear for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to some classroom setup. about to go home for the day and my battery's about to die so let me quickly show you everything that we accomplished okay that's still a mess and that's okay this is still a mess and that's okay but i put up the rows and columns over here the bulletin boards are looking pretty good what else oh yeah i finally turned on my board i also made the sticker store i made the letters with my cricket and just filled in with a bunch of stickers. I still have to go through the stickers because there's some that like are probably not appropriate, but you know, I will figure that out later. I love this board that I did. This is our school expectations. I think I already said that, but yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. Oh, these are the sound spelling cards that I have to have up in the room. So I made a cute little display sound spelling display letter, I guess you could say, that I'm gonna put up 
there. So I'm gonna have sound spellings and then I'll have all the spelling cards over there. And then I still think we're gonna put the sound wall over here. And I did not get to the felt right tiles today, but we will get to that another day. Also, LOL at the state of my desk right now. This is a problem for future me, not for me right now because I am late and I have to go to the staff barbecue. But I just wanted to show you that, you know, things are still a mess and my desk area is a complete disaster, but that's okay. It has been for a while, but that's a problem for future me. All right, I have to talk quickly because my camera is gonna die, but I think this is the last official day of full classroom setup because we don't have another full day. We just have like a couple hours here and there of teacher prep throughout the rest of the week. We have all day Friday, but I'm hoping to have most of my stuff done by Friday so I won't have to do like a full day of classroom setup. But I am probably going to do another vlog Tuesday through Thursday of just things that we're doing throughout the week, PDs and all of that fun stuff. So that will kind of be a longer vlog and I'll just do snippets here and there of different things that I'm doing for classroom setup. But I am gonna go to our staff barbecue because I am already running 10 minutes late, but thank you so much for watching. Comment down below any ideas you have for me because I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put everything and what I wanna put on each bulletin board. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.